And good afternoon, everyone. It is Pam. How are we all doing today? We, we all, y'all, my from the south. Today we're going to be playing my normal Minecraft world. Here's hoping I don't log in and it explodes because I forgot to add a mod or something. Oh, we are also no longer playing with the butterflies mod because it is... Hope you guys can't see that. Oh, close that. Okay. Um... Because the butterfly mod was overlapping some of my item stuff, and I didn't feel like futzing around with it. Because I spent all yesterday coding in something fancy. So, alright, we don't... Yeah, we need to keep water for the, the hydration mod. So, the fancy thing, if we can find some wood. Woogie woo. Woogie woo. Damn you, chocobos. And your sounds. So first of all, we have barrels. You can't place them in the world. I know. Disappointing, but be quiet. Be quiet! I have something awesome to show you. I don't know why the game's running. It's weird. Is it running, is it running weird on your end? Who knows? Okay, don't need these right here. Okay. There's a chocobo, another chocobo, testificate, tons of chocobos over there. I t Damn it, I said I was going to turn those down, and I didn't. Yay, crops. You know, I should just, whenever I feel bad, I should just log in here and look at all the things. I, co I coded, and I colored, and I textured all by myself. Obviously, some things I did make, like the pumpkins and stuff in the background, the corn, and the, uh the turnips and the beets. But but everything else I made Well, maybe not the cherries. Or the beehives. The beehives I turned into circles. But everything else that was all me. Alright, so we need to go bother a cow. Hello cow. Hello. El hello. <gasps> oh my animals disappeared. What happened to all my animals? Well, that's disappointing. And it's dark out. It's full of monsters. Damn it. Alright, well. We're gonna cheat in this stuff with Chocobo Feather. I didn't want to cheat it in. But we're gonna have to. First off, we need a crafting table. Because I don't feel like making one. Alright, so. You take your crafting table. Put it down obviously. Delete the rest of the crafting tables you don't need. And then give yourself some wood. Make some planks and some sticks. Put the stick up top. Plank, 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 plank. What's this? A butter churn? And then you also make a fence post. <laughs> You'll see why in a second. <laughs> Okay, so we put this down. <gasps> Look at that. It's a magical butter churn. And then you also make sure... Oh, there we go. See? Fence post. It makes it cool. Okay. So we click on the butter churn. What's this? I made a GUI. Yeah, I know. It. I got the two-slot version working now. I haven't updated the GUI to add the second slot, but we'll do that. So, in order to use the butter churn... You go grab yourself some, hello, pay attention, some salt. And then you make sure to take a bucket of milk with a barrel, and that will give you a milk barrel. So, milk barrel. It does not work with buckets of milk, because when I tried using it with buckets, it would eat the bucket. Like, the whole milk bucket would disappear when it turned into butter. And I think three iron and some milk for one for one butter, I put in I put in one that it ate it. It eats it quickly. And then... Shabam! We got butter. And we got buttermilk. Isn't that awesome? So, that's cool. I don't know why the game is running so slow. But, uh... But there you go. That is uh, that is the new butter turn. That'll be in the new release of Harvest Craft whenever I get that finished. Also in the new release of Harvest Craft, hopefully, 
will be the seed bag stack thing that people were asking for. So, hey, I wonder if the butter churn actually drops itself like it's supposed to. I haven't checked that yet. <gasps> no, it destroys itself. Okay. So, I'll fix that. Don't worry. It's a work in progress, but I just want to show you guys. So, and yeah, all my animals are gone, and that upsets me. And so, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to give them back to myself because I don't know why they disappeared. If anyone knows why they disappeared, um, please let me know. So let's see. I could spawn a mushroom. No. Okay, we had... Okay, hold on. Let's delete all this salt, this, 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 buckets, and that. Okay. If I remember correctly, we had two, sh two sheep... Um, no, don't spawn a ghast, or a blaze, or a magma cube, or a wolf. We had five chickens, yeah, because we had five chickens in the chicken parade. And then, I believe we had four cows. No, we had two cows and four sheep. Oh, by the way, when I add in the ability to purchase animals with the mod, like through the, um, through like the shipping bin store type deal to more mimic, uh, Harvest Moon, you'll be able to buy, uh, these. And then you just put them in your barn. So it's not going to be too magic or anything else like that. So, okay, I'm pretty sure that's what we had. We also had a baby chicken, but whatever. We'll just ignore that. I don't know what happened. I wish I knew. I wish I knew what would hap what happened. Well, at least we can fix it now. So, thanks, thanks to Jeb and John, the new the new AI guy. That uh, sorry, someone IM'd me, and I'm I'm all like, why are you bothering me? It says recording. Um, I was showing my fiance and my friends my super awesome butter churn, and. They think I'm ridiculous, but they understand I like Minecraft a lot. What they don't realize is that I'm a famous modder. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um, what was I saying? No, thanks to Jeb and John. How are you in here? Well, I guess I own you too then. Um, <gasps> wait, I know what happened. I know what happened. You, you and Mo Creatures are the cause for my disappearing animals. I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. I modified e um bleh, mo creatures to allow lots more animals to spawn, and turned the maximum spawn of chocobos from 50 why are they at 50 down to 10. So hopefully my animals will not disappear again, because I really don't want to have to keep spawning them with eggs, because that kind of defeats the purpose of a farm. So there we go. So hopefully this one chocobo will just stay here and keep other ones from spawning. Um, yes, so there we go. Why, hello, skeleton. What are you doing? Stab you in the face! Anyway, um, no, no, get away from my greenhouse! Get away from it! Oh, shit. <laughs> Come fight me over here if you're gonna be a jerk. Ow, ow, ow! What a jerk! Stupid Chocobo, shut up in the corner. <laughs> Wee woo. Oh no! No! Ow! Oh my god! What? <laughs> Damn it! Now we have a big giant hole. Stupid creepers. Oh, speaking of creepers, I almost forgot about this. Yes, Chocobo, thank you. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but over on Mojang.com, which is, um, shut up, Chocobos. Uh, they have announced the release of the new Minecraft Lego set, and currently there's only one set, but it's made of uh, four little block things. Um, my one friend just IM'd me, and he's all like, yo, you should rename Harvest Craft to Amish Craft. First of all, that's like racist. And second of all, no. Okay, anyway, so the new Minecraft Legos are awesome. They're, they're mini Legos. They're not like 
they're not like the full giant castle sets and stuff like that. They're more like, um, if you know about the, like the Heroica board game Legos and like the Harry Potter board game Lego thing, they're more tiny. So you should go there and you should check that out and you should, yeah, you should do that because it looks cool. I'm totally going to buy one or two. Possibly not three because that's over a hundred dollars. But uh, <laughs> damn it, my friend goes make a mob that you can hire to raise a barn for you and sell awesome but expensive furniture. Wow, that is so racist against the Amish. The Amish people do more than farm and make furniture and build barns. Gosh, they also make crafts and stuff. Come on, no, that's mean. For any. Amish people who might be watching YouTube, I am sorry. What are we doing? I don't know. I got distracted. I saw Bluestone and I wanted it. So, anyway, so as I said, uh, Jeb is going to be adding the crazy uh, 4,096 blo block ID limit, and by limit, I mean maximum, um, next patch. So, the Butter Churn is just one of the first super totally awesome blocks I'm going to be adding to Harvestcraft because at the end of the day if Harvestcraft takes up 100 blocks you still have like over 3,000 more to use I just sounded like Jenna Marbles there for a second why was I talking like that um so yeah so I'm thinking okay I'm gonna add a cheese maker obviously I'm gonna add a loom for Clothcraft I'm going to Let's see. A cutting board and an oven and um, like a stove top to go on the oven. I don't know if I can do that. Shut up, Chocobo. Um, but uh, let's see. What? Have we never been over here? This looks, this looks completely new. What's over here? I hear zombies. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I got distracted with zombies. Oh, cutting board, stovetop, oven, all sorts of cool stuff. So then, so then you just don't make everything in the furnace and the, the crafting um, table because that's silly. Oh, and I'm thinking I might add a mushroom crop. It won't be the red or, um, well, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll do those too. Maybe I'll add crops for the red mushroom, the brown mushroom. I know you can farm them by making the giant ones with bone meal and stuff. But if you're playing Harvest Craft, I think you like to farm things the normal way as well. Um, so I was thinking about adding... We're going to go mining today, apparently. Um, think about adding like a mushroom, mushroom crop. So we'll have the brown one, the red speckled one. Um... By the way, in the a red speckled mushroom, uh, actually, actually is a hallucinogenic, and and really, really Steve should not be eating those type of mushrooms. What is going? What is this? What's down here? Um. So yeah. Uh oh. What what's going on? Uh oh, we're gonna die. Um. Yeah. No, but uh. So I'll add crop for the normal mushrooms and then maybe like a white button mushroom because you see those at the store all the time <laughs> excuse me um I think things are gonna eat me oh shit things are gonna eat me why did I fall down here stabby 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 I know you guys can't see anything hold on you can hear stuff though okay ah no, no skeleton, go away. There, put that up there. No, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. I hear a spider somewhere, and it's freaking out. It's losing its little spider mind. Okay, that's a giant hole. We're not going to go down there. Um. Oh, there's a spider. Hey, spider, what are you doing? Trying to eat me. Yeah, so after I record this video, since it's Thursday and I don't have... 
I have a smidge of work to do. Nothing crazy. Um, since I had lunch, then I'm probably going to do more coating. I want to add the little seed bag storage units for Harvest Craft. Now, what I figure, I figure this is what, what we'll do for the storage units. Basically, one, you'll take eight of the same seed, right? So, like, tomato seeds. And you put them in the crafting grid together, and it'll make a, a seed packet or whatever I feel like naming it. And that will contain eight seeds in theory. You won't be able to use it to plant. This is only for storage. But you will be able to put the seed packet into the crafting grid, crap, blah, blah, crafting grid and be able to get the, uh, the eight seeds back. But then you can take eight seed packets and put them in the crafting grid and then you'll be able to combine that into a seed packet box or whatever. So in essence, you will have 64 seeds in that box for storage, and then you'll be able to stack 64 of those in a slot, which means 64 times 64 seeds is a lot. I don't, I'm not going to try to do that with my brain today. Um, and then, um, yes, but then you'll be able to put the box into into the crafting grid and get the packets back and then you can put the packets back and then get the seeds. So that way you can have multiple stacks of everything and be able to get everything back and everything else like that. So that's what I aim. That's going to be a lot for me to code in terms of recipes because of all the thousands of types of seeds I have. I'm sure there's a way to code that better but whatever. Whatever. I mean, I, I could, in theory, make it so you could use the seed packets to plant, but you can't... That didn't raise... That doesn't raise your... Oh, I'm gonna die again. Um, I don't like this thirst mod. It's kind of broken. What are you supposed to be using, then, if you're not supposed to be using water bottles? Anyway, could you could possibly code in to make the seed packets be able to plant so they'll have eight uses per se but then they probably wouldn't stack so um, where did I come from oh, I came from over here so and the whole point was for storage so them stacking is more important than them being able to plant and plus you'll be able to just take them out of storage and immediately get seeds out of them so so you're good you're fine Oh, my side has been hurting a bunch today. I'm angry. We need to get out of here because we're going to... Actually, I think I might turn off the thirst mod after today because I don't know what you're supposed to do to... Well, here. Let's look up what items you're supposed to drink. Where's it? Where's the mat? Probably above mine. I hear zombie. Fresh water. Oh, I think you're supposed to. Okay, I remember now. I remember. You're supposed to boil the the bottled water. Hey, there's a horsey. I mean that makes sense because you know you don't drink just water out of the creeper. <laughs> Yo, drink water out of a creeper. That's nasty. No, no, no. Ow. Chocobo, you didn't help at all. I really need to read. Get away from me. I really need to read mods I install instead of just assuming how they work. Derp. All right, let's let's go home. Let's go home before I die of thirst. Eh. Wrong. Eh. Jumping. Can't jump. Eh. I'm so silly. And by silly, I mean stupid. Derp. Yeah, so if you guys saw the screen sh or the snapshot, zombies are going to be able to invade villages. Well, yeah, that's going to be exciting. And by exciting, I mean not. They're going to be able to break down doors, too. Oh man. Chuggable stuff. 
Oh, here, let me just turn it off. See, that makes sense. Fresh water. Let us drink the fresh water. You only get two water back from that? Oh, my. Well, I guess water's infinite. It's more of a storage issue. Hmm. It'd be nice if these... St I wonder if these stack. I should check that. Yeah, so... I'll do a Harvest Craft... D damn you. Um, totally forgot what I was doing. I'll do a Harvest Craft relief release sometime... Excuse me. Trying to get a drink here. Um, I think tomorrow, maybe... Oh, they do stack. Okay, so that's useful. At least you get the water bottle. Or the bottle back, I should say. I don't have any food. Get me a blueberry. Yum. Yum. Alright, well, I think that's... I think that's done for today's video, because I can think of anything to do. I know today's video was boring, but I really wanted to show you guys my... I should have smelt it all this. Um, I really wanted to show you guys my new butter churn, so... And I have to go work on the gooey for that, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing for the next while. And then I'll go do some job stuff. So, please remember to comment, rate, subscribe, tell all your friends, press the like button, and remember, enjoy. No, I'm making fun of food wishes. I love, I love watching Chef John. He's awesome. But no, um, I should have a video tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then.